Hello students, today we're going to look at matrices and Gaussian elimination. When we were using Gaussian elimination before, we started off with a system of equations and we kept rewriting versions that we had altered by using row operations until we got it into triangular form. Now every time we did a row operation, the equations of our system of equations changed when we rewrote them. However, there's one thing that never changes. All of our variable terms are always lined up in the same way. And what I mean is the x terms always come first, the y terms come second, the z terms come third, and the constant terms come at the end. And no matter which row operations we use, the coefficients on all of these variables might change, but it's always true that the first term in each of these, or the term in the first place was x, the term in the second was the y term, the term in the third column was the z term, and then the terms in the fourth column were the constant terms. Now, because this is the case, we don't actually need to write out the variables x, y, and z. The only things that mattered were the coefficients that appeared in each of these cases. And so what we can do is instead of writing out the system of equations with all of the terms and variables, we can just deal with the coefficients. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them in what's called a matrix. So here the coefficients were 1, negative 2, 3, and 1. For the next one they were 1, positive 2, negative 1, and 13. And then in the third row they were 3, 2, negative 5, and 3. And this is called an augmented matrix. In general, a matrix is an array of numbers, specifically looking like this. We usually put them in brackets. So this is a three by four array of numbers or a three by four matrix which means that there are three rows and there are four columns. But because this matrix represents the coefficients in a system of equations, we actually call it an augmented matrix. So in this case, this is a three by four matrix because it has three rows and four columns. Those are the dimensions of the matrix. And what we can do is we can write a system of equations in matrix form, and we can perform the same row operations on the augmented matrix as we did before, but it's just a little bit less work because we're just dealing with the numbers and we don't have to write out the variables. This actually makes it a much easier problem to solve because it's less information for our brains to process. Let's go through Gaussian elimination, but this time with the augmented matrix, and we know we need to turn these three terms in the lower left-hand side into zeros. So let's go through and perform the row operations that we need to. Now the first row is not gonna change, Remember, we only need to change the coefficients in the second and third row. So now we need to get rid of this one here. We need to turn it into a zero. And the way that we can do this is by taking the second equation minus the first equation. Now I'm gonna use slightly different terminology here. I'm going to refer to these three rows as row A, row B, and row C with capital letters. And whenever we do a row operation, we're gonna write it using this instead of writing out equation one, equation two, equation three. It's just a shorthand for doing it. So for the second row, to get rid of this one, we can replace row B 
with B minus A. If we do that, then we have one, one minus one, which is zero. We've got two minus negative two, which is the same as two plus two, which is four. We've got negative one minus three, which is negative four. And we've got 13 minus one, which is 12. Then to get rid of the three down here, we can take three times the first row, which is gonna be three A, and then we can subtract the third row from it, which is C, so three A minus C. So if we do that, three times one is three, minus three is zero. Three times negative two is negative six, minus two is negative eight. Three times three is nine, 9 minus negative 5 is the same as 9 plus 5, which is 14. And then 3 times 1 is 3, minus 3 gives us 0. It's the exact same thing we would do if we were using Gaussian elimination with the system of equations, but we just have less to write. We don't have to write all of the x's, the y's, and the z's out. It's just a little bit cleaner. Let's continue. So we've got zeros in these two places, but we also need this negative eight now to become a zero. So to change that into a zero, what we can do is we can take two times the second row and then add the third row to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the first two rows the same because we're not trying to change those. And then for the third row down here, we want to get rid of this negative eight so we can take two times the second row, two B, and then add the third row, which is C. So we've got two B plus C, and that's going to end up getting rid of that negative eight. So two times zero plus zero is still zero. Two times four is eight plus negative eight is zero. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and negative 8 plus 14 is 6. And then 2 times 12 is 24, and 24 plus 0 is 24. So our new augmented matrix looks like this. Now we have gotten it into triangular form. Notice how all of the non-zero coefficients are up here, and we've got zeros down there. But we're going to do one more thing. It's nice to get these leading coefficients now, the, the first non-zero coefficient, to turn them into ones. That's going to make our lives easier even further. And we can do that here in the second row by dividing it by four. That'll change this into a one. And in the third row, dividing it by six. So we're not going to do anything to the first row. The first row is fine. The second row, B, we're going to divide by 4, and then row C, we're going to divide by 6. When we divide row B by 4, we get 0, 1, negative 1, and 3. When we take the third row, row C, and divide it by 6, we get 0, 0, 1, and 4. And then this has a name, we call this row echelon form. Row echelon form is when we have zeros in the lower left-hand corner, and then our leading coefficients are all ones. And this is a very desirable form to get everything in, because once we're here, we can do back substitution pretty easily. So rewriting this as a system of equations, we've got x minus 2y plus 3z equals 1, y minus z equals 3, and z equals 4. And we notice that the coefficients on the z and then the y and the x are all 1. That's helpful because we need to solve for this y and this x and by not having coefficients in front of them, we're not going to have to go and divide in the end. So we've got z equals 4, 
If we plug that in to this equation before it, that's gonna be y minus four equals three. If we add four to both sides, y equals seven. And then we can plug that into the first equation. So we've got x minus two times y, which is two times seven, plus three times z, which is three times four, equals one. When we do those multiplications out, we get x minus 14 plus 12 equals one. When we combine like terms, we get x minus two equals one. And when we add two to both sides, that gives us x equals three. So we end up with our final answer, x equals three, y equals seven, and z equals four. When we get this into row echelon form, it makes the last step of the solving process much easier. Please take a look at the example problems linked below to get more practice dealing with Gaussian elimination using augmented matrices, as we will be using more matrices moving forward and we want to get comfortable with them.